you only get one chance to, to win that medal, stand on that podium, make, make a final. The sport doesn't exist without fairness. It's the foundation of the entire enterprise. And so if you haven't got fairness, you haven't got sport. It, it's a real betrayal of women as a sex class. You know, this is about sex discrimination because sex is real. You know, we have age categories. We have classifications in the Paralympics. We have weight categories in boxing. These are all very important reasons to spread success fairly and safely across society. The female category is an inclusion measure for female athletes. It has to exclude male advantage, otherwise it ceases to functionally exist as a category. By including transgender women, in a category that's designed for female equality, you are excluding the whole group of people that that category was designed for. So you will be excluding females from their own races. That's not inclusion. You wouldn't let a 25-year-old compete in an under-16s race. Why do we want to disadvantage 51% of the population? Why do we want to take away ambition from, from our daughters? So there's lots of data that we can look at to show how males outperform females. At Olympic level, we've got anything between 10 and 30%, which is absolutely massive, and Olympic titles are won by fingernails. And we know that at puberty, males experience something like 20 times as much testosterone as females do. The advantage of male puberty is so large that every women's world record in athletics has been beaten by teenage boys. The first time I had to compete against a trans-identifying male, I was really confused. It felt mean to complain, but after being overtaken by someone who had such an obvious unfair advantage, I felt nothing but despair. I mean, what's the point of competition if you can't compete? For years I was scared to speak out, but I've got braver and now pin a Save Women's Sports sign to my running top, which I wear with pride. One of the solutions that's been proposed to include trans women is to suppress testosterone in adulthood. So there's 16, 17 studies around in the world at the moment which prove that we cannot remove male puberty advantage. Testosterone suppression, it doesn't make people shrink. It doesn't change the size of someone's heart. It doesn't change the volume of their lungs. It doesn't make their hands smaller. The changes on the male body as they go through puberty that are driven by testosterone are not reversed if you later remove that testosterone. You cannot undo male puberty. I mean, the argument is, well, it's only a few. Well, if it happens to be you that loses your medal, then it doesn't matter whether it's one or it's a hundred. What we are seeing now is actually the systematic inclusion of trans women across lots of sports. We've got 45 in cycling alone. Football international volleyballers. Athletics, of course, that's now fixed. Weightlifting, um, tennis, powerlifting, uh, hockey, cricket. I mean, it's hard to think of a sport that hasn't been affected. And then, of course, in swimming, we had Leah Thomas. And they go from being 450th in the men's races to being number one in the women's races, beating three Olympic, you know, USA silver medalists. And that just doesn't happen. Last year, a six foot four male, Leah Thomas, and I raced at the national championships, which ultimately resulted in a tie. But I was told Thomas would get the trophy instead of myself, as this was necessary for photo purposes. All the women in the race face unfair competition and the silencing of our voices through intimidation, emotional blackmail, and gaslighting. I feel neither recognized nor celebrated. I feel betrayed, belittled, and traumatized. Please don't make any other woman go through this. It affects everybody in the sporting food chain, whether, whether you're talking about making a final or getting into a semi-final or maybe a scholarship. No elite athlete is born elite. They all start at the bottom as beginners, as children, and work their way up to the top. If you allow males into women's sport at grassroots level, you're discouraging girls and young women who will be the elite athletes of the future. And it also might actually stop people participating because they don't feel that they've got a chance, so they, so they go and do something else. It's really upsetting when we hear, and I hear stories from women and girls who are being driven out of sport 
because of this. When you're, when you're speaking with a 16 year old who is in tears, visibly shaking, who is terrified to even voice what she knows is true, that this is unfair for her. She can't advocate sensibly without being called a transphobe or she's evil. This is a 16 year old girl, she deserves a chance. It's really upsetting and quite worrying that women who speak about this are criticised for it because no one will criticise a man for wanting fairness. I just feel so much anger and frustration on their behalf. You know, they have worked so hard, trained so hard, being robbed of things of value which they've earned fair and square. So I'm not arguing to ban anyone from sport. I think everybody should be included in sport, um, including trans women, of course. The solution is not to exclude females by your inclusion measures. We need sport that's fair for everyone. Identify however you like, and I totally you know, respect and support anyone's right to do that, um, but compete with your biological sex.